Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current favorite hair care products for spring. So check this video out. All right, current favorite hair care products for spring. So some of this carried on from winter because I... I pretty much have found like my favorite hair care stuff and I will sometimes switch it out but then I always go back to um, what I'm gonna be showing you so I'm kind of gonna do my routine kind of not so um, yeah let's get started so I okay the night before I wash my hair I put my hair up in an overnight hydration treatment. So my favorite one, I've used Briogeo's, but I actually, this one's my absolute favorite. This is by Amika. This is their um, overnight hydration treatment. So this product is absolutely amazing. So I put a couple pumps in there. I brush it through my hair. I tie it up and I actually tie it up in these types of hair ties. Normally when I want a tighter one, I'll do this. Not so much when I have the hydration stuff in there, but I normally use my one that's kind of stretched out a little bit because um, I feel like that stuff has less breakage. So I love using these kind of hair ties. So I will just tie my hair up at night and then um, I will also, and I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more too, since up in a bun, I've been using this by Fakai, their protein powder, Bond Mist. And I'll spray a little bit of this in here because you can use this dry or wet. So I'm going to come back to that. But I will do that and then tie it up and then go to bed. So um, then the next morning, I wash my hair. Um, I first use, I love this, um, detox. I do some kind of detox, but I only focus up right here because I do still have my extensions in. But they're the exact same length as my hair, so I'm just using them for volume right now, even though I don't really need it. But I don't want to get rid of my extensions yet. Um, and I feel like if I have more hair, it's okay. Um, so I've only, like I said, been using my detox right here on my scalp. So I like this by way. This is their um, detox uh, shampoo. This is awesome. My daughter Riley actually uses this as well. So I will do that. And then I will follow with my shampoo and my conditioner. I don't really have a favorite right now, um, but I normally do that with shampoo and conditioner. And then I only wash my hair once a week. So I used to do a purple mask once a week, but now I do it every other. So I love by R & Co, their Sunset Boulevard, their blonde toning mask. This is an awesome, awesome purple mask. If you guys are looking for one, I have had ones in the past that actually dyed my extensions purple and my down here was purple and it was just crazy. Like it was my platinum blonde was like purple. It was unbelievable. But this one is actually really cool. So I'll put this on for 10 minutes and then I'll rinse it out. And then I follow by a regular mask. Currently I'm using this one by Briogeo. Even though my hair is naturally curly and this is their curling one, I'm still using it because it's still helping with the curls in my hair. Um, this one is absolutely amazing. I really do like Briogeo products a lot. All right, so that's everything for the washing. Now, before I um, blow dry my hair, I use a heat protector, I use a detangler, I brush it out, I use another leave-in conditioner, and then I actually go back in with this protein powder. Powder. So, like I said, you can use this when your hair is dry and when your hair is wet. So this is a bonding agent. I really, really like this. I have seen my hair um, a lot of the times with the bonding products with my hair. Like my hair still, my hairdresser told me she's like, your hair is really healthy. It's really growing. I don't see it doesn't seem to be getting shorter, um, and that's what I'm looking for. So this bonding is really, really good. <laughs> All right, so then after I blow dry my hair and I use a um, powder dry shampoo, which, hold on. All right, I had to run upstairs because when I blow dry my hair, after every section, I put dry shampoo in there. And I am going to show you a different dry shampoo, but I forgot. I used a powder one in between, and this one by Bior. Oh, my gosh. This is awesome. I, I don't even know why I didn't grab it. This one has a shampoo and a conditioner, and I feel like... 
because it has a conditioner here too, it really helps. So I think that's what helps with me not, um, like I wash my hair only once a week because I have use all these products and it doesn't build up and it's still soft. So when I blow dry, I blow around brush it and then I put this only on the bottom. Once I get here, I use a root lifter and then I am done. So um, after I blow dry my hair, I take a flat iron, flat iron it, and then I use styling products. So the two that I've been using, and I normally use this on a daily basis. I'll use it when I, after I'm done with my heatless curls or just when I'm done with um, like pretty much every single day. I use these two by Fakai. This is their Ever Strong oil and this is a triple action body repair i've tr raved about this this is awesome i really think fakai's products are amazing and i feel like i have had less breakage and then this one is brightening oil for blunt so this too so between this daily and then this once a week i really think my blonde is staying nice and blonde and not really orangey and not purpley and then between these two right now with the bonding um my hair has not been breaking this one i'll keep using like once i'm done with this bonding i have a couple other bonding products but this is an after styling for me so i don't go ahead and um uh this i'll keep using every day all right I've noticed, um, let's see what else we're going to do. Okay. So I got some tools. You guys know. So normally I do wash my hair on Thursdays. So then Thursday night I put my hair in heat, look, heatless curls and I still will continue to do that. So if you guys have not tried heatless curls, you need to try it. So with heatless curls, I'll put my hair in the heatless curls and then I will tie it back and I'll actually spray it with Briogeo's banana and coconut soft wave texture spray just to give it an extra um, hold. This smells amazing. You guys will absolutely love it. Um, I So I have my heatless curls and I spray this in and then I go to bed. Well, the next morning I'll take it out. I have been brushing my hair with a wide tooth comb. Um, I don't know whose brand this is, but I know um, one of the brands that I'm gonna be talking about next, they have one and it's just, it really just like, my curls are, they just stay intact and then voila. Um, but yeah, so like I said, if you guys haven't tried heatless curls, you must because I try not to do a lot of heat on my hair because I feel like it'll grow better and less damage and I still feel that way. But I started using a new product. I have a bunch of their stuff because I got a bunch of free samples from them. But I've only used this, this so far. So I have been using Beach Waver. Oh my gosh. This curling iron is absolutely amazing. I got their blow dryer um, and I have their straightener. I haven't used it yet. But their curling iron I have. So I got my hair done last week. And my hairdresser, she curls my hair with the flat iron. Well, this isn't as, um, when she does it, it's, my heatless curls really curl and thicken out. When she does it with the flat iron, it kind of like straightens it out more in a wave and it's not as thick. So the past couple of days, I've been waking up with like my hair right here, complete, like this is completely straight. And um, it's been driving me crazy. So I started using the Beach Waver and it, brings the curls back and so I kind of like this now so I'm gonna keep using my my heatless curls but um I think I'm only gonna stick with it once a week uh and then the other days because I only maybe do it like two or three times um putting it in but I don't like always sleeping in it what I'm gonna do is still tie my hair back with one of these at night and then if I need to fix a curl use my beach waver so awesome and then I've been using their hairspray. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. Just spray a little bit in the hair and it's been holding it. So their hairspray is awesome. And then I just really wanted to try this. Instead of using my R Co dry shampoo, I used their second chance dry shampoo. This dry shampoo smells so good and it's amazing. It was really like, I'm on day five right now of my hair and it normally like no I'm on day six I'm on day six um no I'm on day five 
yeah, because tomorrow I, I don't wash my hair, but I'll put my stuff in there. But um, it's been amazing. So, but, so new stuff. Really excited. Can't wait to use more of Beach Waver. But yeah, so that is everything for my current favorite hair care products. There's a lot, but there's not. So, but I would have to say, I would have to say Beach Waver. I would have to say that this time, my favorite product would have to be Beach Wavers. I probably these top, these are my top two. Um, because I don't really use hairspray that much, but I have a feeling I'm going to be using it a lot more. So, but yeah, if you haven't tried Beach Waver, check out TikTok. The link's down below for my TikTok. And check out my shop and see all the products that I have been using by them. And you, like I said, will love them. So, all right, well, yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I make specialty videos like this every Thursday. I already did my skincare and my makeup for the spring, so check those video out. And then we weekly vlog that gets posted on Saturdays and weekend vlog, which gets posted on Mondays. So also down below is a link for Bella Bean's channel. Subscribe to her channel as well. We'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family on both channels. We do a lot of fun things over there. Also down below is my TikTok and my Instagram. Make sure you follow me along on there because I go live on TikTok quite a bit. And then on Instagram, I post a lot of my stories and some things on there as well. You don't want to miss that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one.